<laughs> Welcome back to Terra Select. Shit sucks. Pants are full of shit. And you can hear the screaming in the distance. I do not like. You can also hear the crows, because think... that's helpful. Okay. The the distant screaming is just... Do you know what I thought like those right were now? wolves for a second. No, that's howling screams. Yep. Uh, that's very, it's just very unsettling. I don't like that. I mean, it's it's. Fucking... Oh God damn it! No! No! You <sighs> a scream. Is it him, the cannibal? Could be pleasure or pain. I won't guess. I'm not sure he'd even know. His voice sounds like, uh, like something I wanted while watching the engine. Its only message is hunger to crush and consume. I'm going to try to forget it, Lisa. If I get out of here, I'm going to come back to you. Well, good news. I mean, the, the, He's fucking up there. And I'm not. Yeah, I kind of wish I grabbed those handcuffs now. If you listen, can you hear footsteps? The thing I wonder about is that, you know, like, say... Parker gets out of here. Waylon Parker gets out. Yeah. And he decides to expose Murkoff and all their nastiness. Yeah. I, is that actually going to save his life or his family's life? Nope. I mean, like, I understand that he's, like, freaking losing it. Well, so here's but. the here's the thing. In the U.S., there are whistleblower laws that you cannot... Uh, you cannot retaliate against a whistleblower. It's bad times. It's against Tell the law. Blah, 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 blah. Much know that. It does not prevent anybody from doing it. The consequences for retaliating against a um, a whistleblower are specifically civil damages and crim and penalties after the fact. Yeah. So I guess in that case, like even if they. Uh... I mean, they'd just, what, kill him and his entire family and then be like, oops, something must have happened to him. Yeah. With the exception of things like witness protection, because that does <laughs> Oh, God, jeez! What the hell? Oh. What the fuck happened? What hit me? I have no idea. Well, if you paid attention. No, dude, what? I was just walking. Suddenly, something hit me. Did I trip over something? Uh. Oh, Dave! Oh, shit. Well, so here's the problem. I can't bring up my night vision. AK, my greatest asset, because... This happens. Fog. Yeah. Too much reflection. The moisture in the air. The whistleblower laws we're talking about. Yeah. There's a problem with that. Which is? What if it's a governmental park? <sighs> Technically, the government also is required to uh, oblige by them. But guess who enforces those laws? The government. Yeah. <sighs> it's it's kind of messed up. The other thing is there's a lot of uh problems with being a whistleblower and trying to get whistleblower protections because guess what you have to do to be identified as a whistleblower? What's up? Identify yourself. There have been successful whistleblowers, um, but ultimately what happens is, for the most part, public campaigns prevent people from retaliating against them. Uh, That's not good. Um, one of the most successful guys, successful whistleblowers is uh, the guy that released the Pentagon Papers. Which basically showed that there was a governmental policy of keeping the uh, Vietnam War going for political reasons. 
And he did not report it through proper channels. He reported it to the papers. And the papers reported everything. Kind of like what Snowden did. Yeah, but uh, I guess it's not really allowed back. <laughs> So, like, those laws mean jack fucking shit. Basically. Especially I would not the... want to be... I would not want to be put in the position of having to decide between blowing a whistle and, and ruining my life, or... Um, the ult not or, blowing or, a or, whistle. Or, and... Yeah, or having to live with the guilt of doing the wrong thing. Because I don't think there's a good way out of either one of those. I'm just going to close this. Not particularly, no. Okay. I don't know where to go. At the what? moment. I can't get into the prison block. Which is probably for the best, because you know who's... Probably there right now? Father fucking Martin. At least you didn't look, have been looking at cross against the walls of the doors, like, to your left, behind you. That doesn't help. I mean, I can see the walkway up there, but I can't... get there. Okay. What? Go back. To the little corridor hall there. All right, head there. Look a little to your left. The door? The door uh, that I can't open? Yeah. What the? Oh, yeah. cool. There you go. He's playing alone and losing. That is what the game is. There's a mathematical proof. If you had 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and so on up to infinity, you can't arrive at an answer. If you stop shy of infinity, you have an indescribably large number. If you continue all the way to infinity, you arrive at negative 1 12th. Negative 0 0.083333 repeating. I'm losing my grip on things. I'm thinking about the drive here, 400 miles in a rented truck. The job that shows up just in time to cover our bills, our debts, the insurance. The boys sleeping in the back, nothing but AM radio, gospel, country western, late night paranoia, talk radio. We sang Patsy Klein songs and laughed at conspiracies of aliens and ghosts. Mile marker numbers passing in headlights. I don't want to die here. Yep. Go for it. You can do it. You got it this time. That's ahead. I don't want to go back this way. But there's nowhere else to go. Oh, look, this... it's, open. it's open now. This wasn't open before. Make sure you don't leave any footprints, Dave. I'm leaving footprints, Hedra. Oh. Oh, sir. I. Your head is not. Wow. Mm. I'm just gonna. Not you can to say that, that he's way. a little kilted. You gotta have some spine to work in this job, son, and yours just ain't up to par. Yeah, um, but okay, he has just a, a small prick in his neck. Oh, I'm trying to think of something with the word... I'm trying to think of something with the word vertebrae, and it's just not coming. Alright. That wasn't a joke, I literally don't know. I think but vertebrae. Right. Okay, so... Huh? A pun. I was trying to think of a pun with the word vertebrae and I couldn't think of one. So I could jump over there. Is that a good idea? What else do you Matt, have what do you think? Ugh. Uh. 
Just don't like being outside because you can't see shit, Captain. It's very true. Oh, you can right, see a lot of shit. You don't yeah, see Yeah, but then you're stepping clearly. in it, and I have no shoes. Yeah, that would not be fun to do this, to just- Oh! God! Hi? Yes, hello? This is Waylon. Are you alright? If he was alright, yeah. why would he be here? Don't jump down. Fuck this fog, man. I have to jump down, because I'm not supposed yep. to be on this ledge. Okay. Can't see shit, Captain. Looks like we're going back inside, so great. Into the creepy sewers. The fog-filled creepy sewers. Yay. That's the Naked Twins, isn't it? Yep. Why? Why? Because if you remember, we never actually dealt with them. <sighs> Father Martin said leave him alone. They barely followed that order. And then Father Martin immolated himself. And I left you alone then. Yeah, the twins are unsettling. Ugh. Everybody that wants his... to eat me is unsettling. What is it? His tongue and his liver. Yours. Mine. <laughs> also, they're naked and have big dongers. Are you afraid of the dongers? I'm a little afraid of the dongers. There is no good way to get past these guys. Uh, what was one of their lines? They're like, <clears throat> like when you climb out the window in the first one, they were like, "My God, he vanished, vanished without a trace." <laughs> Does he think it's that like... we're assholes? I think no, he thinks like... that we're assholes. It's like. It's like, I detect sarcasm. It was my intention. He thinks we're assholes. Or stupid. Let's pull him in and slit his belly open. How did... <laughs> how did I... How did I get past them there? Are they meant to actually interact with you? I don't know. I mean, is it a cameo? Or are they actually, like... I mean, because they said they would like to kill them... Kill him, and then they kind of walk away. Because they couldn't get to me. Oh! Oh! Peekaboo! Here they come for you! I'm sorry. You're running his game, Dave. Go back to your game, dude. It's fine. Sorry about being a spoil sport. You know what the worst thing is? Miles kind of had an idea of what he was getting into. Debatably. Waylon? He's a fucking software guy. He's a software engineer. Lost the door, day. It's fine. Kurt, we got another one, and I'm not sure you're going to be able to check it off as psychopathic proximity disorder. Security guard all the way up in the admin block is our latest non-patient employee to start seeing Wernicke's fairy tales. 
He was never directly exposed to the engine, never even made it below level one in the building. It would be an enormous breach of protocol and security if doctors were speaking of the wall rider within hearing of a contracted security guard. It seems vanishingly improbable that he would stumble onto such an obscure mythological story on his own. It's too similar to the Dr. Samuel case, or the others before him. It's one thing for formerly sane medical personnel to fall into the delusions of their patients. It's another thing entirely for those beliefs to be... I don't know. Airborne. We need to talk in person, Billings. Yeah. That's definitely the case. Just in case something tries to come out of there. Uh, yep, hello. Schizophrenic arguing with himself. Okay, yep, that. Running towards the scene of wherever. What is, what's the shirt? The, the bomb technician shirt? I am an explosive ordnance disposal technician. If you see me running, try to keep try up. Try and catch up. Okay. Who's trying to find where you're hiding? I don't know that there's. They'll tell you it's oh. science, but it, it's not. They were waiting for us in this place. Billy understood. They've always been here. So the thing is that it's not ghosts, but everybody reacts Nano as though machines, it son. is ghosts. Stop it! Hang up the phone, you assholes. Yeah, no, they act like it's ghosts because, to be fair, they it acts like ghosts. It's true. Oh, there it goes. I'd close that door. Not behind you. Don't you mean I just there heard... it's ghosts? I just, they're just basically just beating the shit out of things. They don't go anything. Yeah, but I hear the wall rider, I hear the wall rider tear apart those people in that room over there, and it's not good. Oh, okay, yep, time to leave. Hurry, Dave. Close it behind you. Because that was the room the wall rider went in. To be fair, I don't think the wall rider needs doors, to be honest. No. It doesn't. Dark the only thing that stops it is mean, the gas. Ooh. Did we ever determine what the point of the wall rider was? No, I said close the door behind you, Dave. I did. No, oh, this door? Yeah, this door. What? Oh, fuck you! Oh, you fuck stick. No! Jesus. Wailing. You couldn't just. You couldn't just keep your mouth shut. You couldn't just play along. But you're done talking now. Favorite die here, Park. Deep breath. Damn it, he totally smashed it. God damn it. And it figures, I did you recognize that voice? No. Time. I recognize that voice. Because I recognize the change. Shit. Chris, how's it going? Chris Walker. Mo fucking Walker. That door ain't closing. No, he destroys doors, remember. Just gonna calmly walk away, because if I run, he'll hear me. Okay. 
Everybody's hiding from Chris. Yeah, no kidding. That's why I think you know what that guy running saying someone help me. Um, I think we now know why. All right. Hell, the the only thing that killed Chris in the last one was, was the, the fucking, fucking wall, wall rider. rider that blended him into itty bitty chunklets. All right. Well, next time on Terror Select. Hmm. Battery. Nope. That's a camera. That's a computerator. <sighs> So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. <sighs> this is so My back fun. already hurts. The tension is not helping. Fuck! Oh. Round eight.